In today's video, Francis Ngannou accepts Tyson Fury's proposed rules, Jorge Masvidal makes a huge announcement, Kevin Lee re-signs with the UFC, Chandler says his fight with McGregor could sell over 2 million pay-per-views, Michael Bisping weighs in on the McGregor-Chandler matchup, and Alex Volkanovski talks his future at 145. Recently, Tyson Fury offered Francis Ngannou a mixed rules bout. In an interview with Boxer, Fury stated that the two could fight in a cage with four ounce gloves and under Queensberry rules. Fury even pondered if they could secure Mike Tyson as a special guest referee. It seems like Ngannou is on board. On Twitter, the former UFC champ put a check mark next to all of Fury's requests and asked if there were any more requests. He also ended the tweet by signing off as the baddest man on the planet. Francis also posted this clip on his Instagram stories. We'd love to hear what you think about a potential boxing match between Fury and Nganu with four ounce gloves inside a cage. Let us know in the comments below. On Monday's MMA Hour, Jorge Masvidal announced that the PFL's Anthony Pettis will battle the legendary Roy Jones Jr. in the main event of Gamebred Boxing 4. The showdown is scheduled for April 1st at the FistServe Forum in Milwaukee. Pettis isn't the only cage fighter to be a part of this card. In the co-main event, former UFC champion Jose Aldo will take on former foe Jeremy Stevens. The rest of the card features many other former UFC fighters including Vitor Belfort who will take on Ronaldo Souza, Paul Daly fights Anthony Taylor, and Pearl Gonzalez meets Gino Mazzani. According to Masvidal, all the matchups will be pro bouts, not exhibitions. Here's the current lineup for Gamebred Boxing 4. According to a report from ESPN, Kevin Lee has re-signed with the UFC one year after being released from his contract. In a statement to ESPN.com, Lee said his new contract came after a meeting with UFC President Dana White and UFC COO Hunter Campbell. He stated, I feel like I'm going back home. I'm grateful for them welcoming me back and looking forward to the next chapter of my career. Kevin also posted a photo with Dana White over social media and captioned it by writing, I'm grateful for every moment in my life. Alam Dulila, hard work always pays off. Yeah. Yeah. After four losses in five outings, including a unanimous decision loss against Daniel Rodriguez in 2021, Lee departed from the UFC. He then went on to fight for Habib Nurmagomedov's Eagle Fighting Championship in March 2022 at super lightweight, where he was victorious with a unanimous decision against Diego Sanchez. What do you guys think of Kevin's return to the UFC? Drop him thoughts in the comments below. Michael Bisping believes it is a given that Conor McGregor will earn a UFC title shot if he's able to defeat Michael Chandler. Speaking in a recent YouTube video, Bisping said, This is not an easy fight for McGregor, far from it. Has he, Conor, still got it? That is a big question, and that's why I respect him. For taking this fight, there were easier fights for him to take. If McGregor gets it done, will we see him fight for the title next? That is a given. That is 100%. Just prepare yourself mentally for that. Regardless of whatever you think, he's the biggest star of the sport. He's a former two-weight division champion, and he's a person that people want to see fight. So, if he goes out there and beats Michael Chandler, who's one of the top-ranked lightweights on the planet, and he does so in exciting fashion, I'll be honest, I'll have no problem with him fighting for the belt. McGregor vs Chandler, I'm excited. Take my money already. In a recent interview with Jimmy Smith on SiriusXM, Alexander Volkanovsky shared his plans for his future at 145 if he wins the 155-pound title at UFC 284 this Saturday night. I mean, I obviously, uh, you know, made a promise that I'll keep both divisions uh, busy, and that's uh, something. I'm a man of my word. You know, I, I am. I've always uh, been a man of my word. So that's just uh, who I am. So I want to do that, and I want to stay busy, and I don't want to keep people. I don't want to hold any divisions. So uh, I'm. Uh, I want to be active, and, and I swear that right now, especially for lightweight, the hardest thing was bulking, and then be, having to be able to go back down, and things like that. But 
there's the bulking that I needed to do. I feel like I only needed to do it for for an Islam fight. I feel like floating between the the featherweight and lightweight. After this, I, I can sit at a comfortable uh, weight that I can make both uh, divisions pretty easily. Uh, I don't think I need to focus so much on bulking and strength and all that. I believe, like, because this is how much respect I got for Islam and their team. I believe I needed to do that for this fight, so I did it. But uh, other than that, and that's no disrespect to other people in the division, but I feel like I've always been very strong and all that type of stuff, so I haven't had to worry about that. And I don't think I'll have to worry about that moving on. So that'll make my float between both divisions uh, cruisy. So I want to stay active, and I'll show you that I can do it. Here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named MMA Underdogs. Our second place pick was also found over Twitter and was posted by a user named MMA. And our top pick was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Flying Fajita. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.